And now, Naptastrophe. Written and illustrated by Jarrett J. Krasovska. It seemed that nobody listened to Lucy when she said, I'm not tired. So she found herself in her room with the lights off during the daytime. There must have been a mistake. She yelled, I'm not tired! But nothing. Lucy thought of all the fun she was missing. She could be playing with her toys. Her toys probably missed her. But what if they didn't? What if they were having a dance party without her? After an eternity, Lucy's bedroom door opened. I'm not tired, she said proudly. She hadn't slept, but now it was too late for nap time. She and her daddy needed to run errands. See? Told you I wasn't tired. Lucy called her daddy on a banana. Not tired, she said, but he didn't answer his phone. Still not tired, Lucy shouted moments later. Not tired, not tired. Not tired, not tired, not tired. Look, exclaimed Lucy, candy. We're not getting candy today, sweetheart, said her daddy. We'll just get a few, said Lucy. I said no, her daddy reminded her. And then it hit her. The lights the noise. Her knees wobbled. Her eyes drooped. Lucy could not hold it in any longer. It was a nap-tastrophe. Her arms flapped. Her fists locked. She got stuck to the floor. It was time to go. At dinner, Lucy heard the word bedtime. She interrupted the grown-up talk to say, I'm not tired! Just before... Splat! Good night, Lucy.